Okay, as promised, I didn't even get to our some of our frequently asked questions in our last video, but I'll follow up with that now. So some of the most frequently asked questions are, is it invasive? Because when we typically think stem cell, stem cell regeneration, we do think invasive. We think a lot of downtime, we can think needles, we can think surgery. Uh, no, it is non-invasive, which is so amazing. There is no downtime. You can leave our office and go right back to work. So that is really amazing. And that is really cool because I've never seen that before. So there is no downtime. And does it take a long time? No, it does not take a long time. Our average patient visit is about 10 minutes. So how we do it, it's how it gets done is it's a click per, there's a certain amount of clicks per minute. So it's about 10 minutes. So overall, not very long, which is great. That's super great because you can just, like I said, head back to work. Next question we get asked is, what does it feel like? And that's really the a really great question. This technology is so specific and so pinpoint that if you have healthy tissue, you will not really feel much of anything. However, once the system finds and pinpoints damage, dead cells, inflammation, it will feel a little uncomfortable. So we can't, oh, my cat just scratch me sorry <laughs> uh, so what we want to do is find that sweet spot in between not feeling anything at all and feeling comfortably uncomfortable it's kind of like a hurt so good type of pain so we want to find those spots of damaged dead cells and that's how we know you're a candidate for our care so how do we know that's my next question how do we know if you're a candidate for care there's a couple different ways that we can figure out if you should, if this is the best case scenario for you and move forward with our care. So it's twofold really. The first is we wanna see what the macro environment of the joint looks like. So we've been seeing a lot of shoulders, knees, feet, plantar fasciitis as alluded to in my last video, uh, hips, and then also spine stuff, a lot of spinal stuff. So what we were, are doing is looking at either existing x-rays that we already have, or taking a new set of x-rays for the complaint area um, and then the kinetic chain inwards. And that is all included in that mapping session video. That is not an extra cost to you. So then we can see what is the macro level of that joint space looking like. And that will give us a really good prediction into how quickly, how much, how frequently do we need to do this type of treatment. Then that second level is how do we know if you're a candidate for care also plays into, do we find these areas of dead damage older cells that are creating what we call these hot spots in the mapping session. The mapping session really becomes powerful because then on our next visit, we already know where we need to focus. Of course, yes, we can move things around and we can look other areas, but we can get really pinpoint specific and start to heal and clear those senescent cells, which we call them those dead damaged cells into new healthy regeneration. And the other, the next question is, is, um, is this like a cortisone shot? And I had a really great question from a patient yesterday. I've, I've read that we, we don't want inflammation, but we're talking about really triggering an inflammatory process. So that's a great question. This is not like an anti-inflammatory shot. It's not a cortisone shot. It's totally different. So what we're doing, what this therapy is able to do is it triggers your own resident stem cells to come down into the area that is dead and damaged and old, inflammatory, inflamed in the area and then start to regenerate that tissue. So it's not only, once we're going down that area, uh, that road of degeneration, this is what we talk about in chiropractic all the time. Once we're going down that area, that road of degeneration, it is very hard to switch back, getting adjusted, getting the nervous system cleared, eating healthy, walking, drinking your water, all those things are really gonna help move your body. But once we have these altered state of movement in that, in that joint pattern, no matter what it is, it is very challenging to switch that depending on where we are on that road in that trajectory. So once we do that, what's, once we are able to get in there with that stem wave, with that soft wave technology, we switch gears into regeneration. So we become on the offense. We are able to actually combat that degeneration, which is, I've never seen anything like it, which is really cool, um, but it is so impactful. So we're going from that defensive of how do we just get this under control a little bit into 
let us actually rebuild and heal. And then the other thing that is really amazing is, is what we're doing is, and I've seen this with a lot of people who are maybe too young or do not want to do any type of surgery or injections quite yet. And they want to avoid it as much as all costs. And we know surgery injections, that's all really there for a reason. And we're happy that we're there, there in my last video, I talked about what we did for Jason because we needed, we were at our last ditch effort to try to heal something that was not being healed. So what we need to do is know those things are there, but we really need what the stem wave, what the soft wave technology tissue regeneration does is it actually just gives us more, more warranty, more years in that warranty of that joint space. Because once we go into the joint space, it will be damaged invasively if we do that. But also there's a lifespan on those, on the, on all of those replacements. So we don't want to do that too early, but we don't want to suffer through. And I hear that a lot with people who get replacements is like, Oh, I feel so much better now. I wish I didn't wait, but at a point you do have to wait because you know, there's a life, there's a lifespan on that. And, and the technology is just getting better and better, but there is a lifespan on that. So we want to actually enjoy the years we have. Hopefully we never need those things, but if we do, we want to actually be able to function the way we want to and need to for our family and ourselves and our community, but also enjoy our time so it's not so debilitating moving through life until we get this really huge invasive procedure. So, so those are some of the really most frequently asked questions I've been getting about the actual technology. If you are interested, we are still only promoting our mapping sessions for our patients and their families and friends and loved ones because I am me, myself, um, Nicole, Dr. Jason, Rebecca, there's only so many of us that are able to do the sessions at a time and we only have one machine. So um, there is a limit of time and availability for that. So if you're interested before we open it up, I encourage you to either ask your provider, text the office if you want to, or ask, uh, my buddies up at the front desk just to schedule that. It's very easy for you to schedule that. And then we can go into all of the good stuff, tissue regeneration. I'm so excited to be able to bring this to Berks County. I'm excited for you to try this, your family and your friends and your loved ones. We've been seeing so many amazing results. I can't wait to see what it can do for Berks County. I hope to see you soon. And thank you so much for sticking around. Bye.